Hi. We've been doing this nonsense again because my mother wants me to. But let me ask you a question before I do this. If I do this, will I get a little bit closer to you taking me to see <laughs> Do you have an answer? Maybe. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'm slowly sucking my mother into the world of Do You Have an Hanson? I'm reading the book. I don't read books. If I'm reading a book, it has to be good because I hate reading books. I'm reading it and literally I love it so much because it's like a fan fiction I would write. There's mental illness, anxiety, depression, suicide, crying. <laughs> Like, that's exactly what I write. So I'm just in love. Every, like, chapter, I'm like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I love it so much. So. How much have you gotten read so far? I'm almost done with chapter three. Okay. It's so sad. I'm, in, like, the first, like, chapter, it says that he's on Lexapro. And I was like, I was on Lexapro. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing this again. I'm so scared. Update from last time. I don't feel like it did anything for me. It just made me start coughing a lot like 15 minutes later. But I still have a headache, still have an earache, still feel like crap. So I don't know why we're doing this again, but we are. And I hate this. I hate it so much. I have a towel for my nose. My nose drippings. <laughs> I'm not in the bathtub kneeling in my own nose water this time. We're doing it outside, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. But somebody was like, we're yeah, doing it in the bathroom. So I did. But now we're outside. I have won that battle. So here we go. <laughs> okay. I, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it in the right nostril first. Let it come out a little bit the left nostril. Then I'm going to do it on this one. Let it come out this one. Then I'm going to do this again, and then this again, and I'm going to be done. Okay, that sounds okay? good. Yeah. <laughs> so, when we opened the box of this, there were two packets left. I used one in the previous video that you saw, and then I'm using the last one in this. I was like, you know, we're going to be out of packets now. My mom bought a hundred <laughs> packets of the Neti Pot salt stuff. I'm like, I don't even like doing this. Well, I mean, it's just salt, so it's like two cents for like a hundred. So, just got the hundred. I know, but I don't even like doing this, so I'm not even okay, inclined to use I it. Okay, I have used it before, and I'm sure I will use it again. Does it make you feel better? Because I couldn't notice any difference. Yeah, it does. It helps. How quick? Like, within like the next hour, within the next day, when does it help? When do you notice it help? I would say, like, when I've done it, when I've felt like I needed to do it, I felt like immediately I felt a little bit better, and then I just did it for a few days after, and I felt oh, like it helped God. resolve things. Can't relate. Okay. You know, it would be, like, really funny. If the skunk if came the out. the skunk comes out. <laughs> that, would be, that would be funny. I swear there's a skunk under here. Like, for real. 100%. I would put money on it. Literally. I smell it every time I come out here. Here we go. If any delivery people come by, they can step in my nose water. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm so scared. I hate this so much. Kylie, like, just do it. You don't know how much I hate this. <laughs> it makes me feel so anxious. Oh. I started drooling. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. All of a sudden, I was just thinking about absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm drooling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's drips flying out of my nostrils. <laughs> Did you see how much came out that time? I couldn't see because it was facing the a other side. A lot came out the left nostril. I feel like that's like the best I've ever done it. Okay, good. 
Here we go. I'm 25% of the way done. You go, girl. <laughs> it literally feels horrible. I hate it. You see that? Yeah, you're doing good. You know what? It's <laughs> washing the irritants out of there, and salt water is, is like an antibacterial, so it's it's really good what you're doing. I would feel more inclined to believe that if I actually felt better in well, my headache. Maybe you or will my ears. feel better since you seem like you're doing it a little better this time. Well, now, now I know what it feels like, and I'm ready for the trauma. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's still going down my throat, I want you to know. Halfway there. <laughs> How am I doing? You do A plus. Are you proud of me? Oh, yes. Because I hate doing this. But, you know, anything to get me a little closer to seeing Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a that? good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't tell them this, but apparently it's a thing that <laughs> you might just be like chilling afterwards and then all of a sudden just water comes out of your nose that was like stuck up in there that didn't come out. That happened to me. <laughs> I was sitting in bed on my computer and all of a sudden water just it comes out of my nose. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Last one. 75% of the way there. All right. Feel no different. Go in, you're going into the home stretch here, girlfriend. There's a pill bug. Whirly poly. Oh, yeah, there he is. I touched him so he turned into a ball. He's probably like, I did not plan <laughs> this for this evening. <laughs> Okay, that okay, that one was the best one that I did. You see how I did, like, yes, much yes. came out? Yeah, that was good. Okay. Here we go. Last one. Okay, you're doing great. <clears throat> Oh, that was excellent. Good job. <laughs> there, are you proud of me? Yes, good job. <sighs> See, you did it really good tonight. Because I knew what it was going to felt like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even speak English. I'm so traumatized I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, how do I sound? Does my, my voice sound like Squidward again? A little bit. You're getting there. <laughs> But that's good. You rinsed out your all your sinuses. That's good. Great, but you know what? I still have a headache and I still have earaches. Alright, well. So is it really doing anything? Should be. <laughs> now tell your people to comment below and convince you that this is worthwhile. Comment down below if you think I should keep doing this. Comment down below if you've ever done it. If you've ever done it, I sound so squidwardy. <laughs> convince her this is this is good Has and it worked worthwhile for you? and it actually Has does it stuff. Has it not worked for you? Like, tell me your thoughts. My thoughts are that it feels like my nostrils got violated. And it feels like it's doing nothing except making me sound funny. Oh, now you're really starting to sound funny. <laughs> and then, like, in, like, 20 minutes, I'm going to start, like, coughing a lot. Until I, like, take Benadryl. <laughs> Sounds so funny now. <laughs> so... I don't feel like it's worth it, not at least yet, because it hasn't improved my headache or anything. And I don't enjoy it. It's not an enjoyable sensation to have water going up your nose. But there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED demonstration. My neti pot <laughs> nose water show. <laughs> my computer's fanning so loud because it's uploading. Hi, it's me. I'm making marinated cucumber salad from my best 
friend Sumaya. But before I start, I would like to just show you our really derpy looking cucumbers because they look really funny. So we grew these in our garden. So that's why they're derpy looking. <laughs> so we have three of them. And they're like albino. <laughs> they're not supposed to be green. I don't know why. That's just how they are. But this one's like the really derpy looking one. <laughs> so these are our cucumbers that we're going to be putting into cucumber salad. Okay, are you going to tell me what to do? No, I'm going to tell you what to do. Thank I you. have the recipe. <laughs> she wants us to put in cherry tomatoes. That's not happening. I don't like tomatoes and neither does my father. Oh, I should just tell you the instructions instead of the ingredients. Do we have a medium bowl? Ah! Basically, you just put everything in except for the cilantro and mint if you got mint, but I don't think you got mint. No, we decided we don't like mint either, so. Okay, it says she wants you to half lengthwise the cucumbers and then slice them thinly. Okay, good to know. And I'll tell you what else is in here because there's like no other instructions, just like put it all in there. Mm -hmm. And it says when you put in the cilantro, put it in like right before you serve it. Oh, good to know. Okay. How much cilantro is it? Well, how many cucumbers is it calling for? Because we only have this. Two bit. Persian or English cucumbers. These are not that. <laughs> no, and what we have here is really almost not even really the size. Uh, maybe it's a small English cucumber amount. So I would say like let's half the recipe. Okay. Ish, we'll use our best judgment. How much cilantro does it call for? I'm getting there, but you just kept on talking. Two tablespoons chopped. I'm gonna tell them the full recipe though. I'll put this recipe in my description. Okay, so, <gasps> mom. Nothing, nothing mom. Nothing. Everything's fine. <laughs> does not sound fine. Okay, so, if you are a normal person who likes I almost said cucumbers. Who likes tomatoes? You want one pint cherry tomatoes quartered. Two Persian or English cucumbers halved lengthwise and then thinly sliced. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Two tablespoons olive oil. One teaspoon salt. A quarter teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Two tablespoons sesame seeds. That's optional. We're not putting that in because I don't like seeds. Two tablespoons fresh cilantro chopped. One tablespoon fresh mint torn. We're not putting that in either because we don't like mint. And then you put everything in the bowl and then let it sit for between 20 minutes and two hours, stirring occasionally. Oh, good to know. And then just before serving is when you would put in your sesame seed, cilantro, and mint. Now, and that's your marinated cucumber salad recipe. It didn't say to seed the cucumbers, but I'm going to seed them. Yeah, that would probably be good. You know what? We're but that's okay. We're only three people. We don't need a massive amount of cucumber salad. I'm uploading a video right now, and it's my second week in Home Alone vlog where I had a different crisis of bum, bum, bum. my cat not eating anything. And then I had a crisis and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like dying. I should probably go to urgent care. But then I didn't. So that's my story. <laughs> look at that. Nice. They look so funny. Also, we, we'd grown these previously this summer. And my dad brought one of these up to my cabin and I came out for dinner and they were like, oh, these are like dad's cucumbers. Like, taste them and see what you think. And I took a bite and I was like, these taste like normal cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> like, they didn't taste any different. They taste like exactly the same. So that was funny. I think ultimately that was good, though. No, yeah, it was good. Because last year's cucumbers were horrible. Do you remember those? I don't remember that. Oh, those were terrible. I think he bought, like, pickling cucumbers. 
Oh, uh, well then they're not meant to be eaten as I cucumbers. Know. And they were like really like so bitter. They were Ew. really yucky. You probably didn't even try to give it to me then. No, probably <laughs> not. They were not good. Why did he buy pickling cucumbers? Did he know. intend on pickling uh, maybe them? I thought he would pickle them. Who knows? Now let me show you guys my cookbook. I am learning how to cook. This morning I got up at like 5.45 and cooked my dad's breakfast. Okay, so my mom made me this cookbook. Her cookbook is a binder too, so that's why mine's a binder. So I wanna get dividers to like, my mom has dividers and it's like meat, fish, dessert, like, different like good sections for a cookbook. That's what I wanna get because now I'm getting a lot of like recipes. So, so far, I only have recipes from my friend Sumaya and then recipes that I have made before and like, with the exception of one recipe in here. So, we have <laughs> cranberry couscous, except we don't put the cranberries in it. <laughs> Well, it's cous you know what, it's couscous, one of the things that calls for scallions, and that's the thing we really like. Yeah, that's love the thing that we recipe. really like, the scallions. Plus, I think we use uh, chicken broth also instead of just water to make it, and those two oh, yeah. things yeah. make it really good. We have best banana bread ever recipe. It's my go-to banana bread. And then all these cards, these are from my friend Sumaya. <laughs> I've made some of these before. I made coconut shrimp with my friend Sumaya, that's a video. I made some of these things with dinner with dad. So I've made some of these before. And then if you keep scrolling, <laughs> scrolling. Yeah. I don't know why this is in here because I don't think I would just be like, yeah, I'll make that. What is it? Meatloaf. Why is there a recipe you know for meatloaf I'm in here? Sure you told me you wanted that. Is because that's the one with the egg in the middle, I yeah, think. Yeah, that I don't I'm not a fan. I, you, I'm pretty sure you told me to put that in there. I don't know why it's in here. That's the one exception. Then we have our annual sugar cookie recipe that we always have to hunt for when we're making sugar cookies. So I just photocopied it and put it in here. It's our go-to sugar cookie recipe. Eggless cookie dough. Found this from the internet because we used to have like friends and family who had like their own chickens so we could like eat their eggs like raw and not like fear that we would like get sick. But now we don't have that. So I wanted a recipe for raw cookie dough so I could just eat raw cookie dough. So I found one that doesn't have eggs so now I can just eat raw cookie dough whenever I feel like it. And then we have more recipes from my friend Sumaya cause she just sent me some new ones. So that's my cookbook. So comment down below. Oh, wait, you're done already? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Comment down below what you want me to cook. Tell me some easy things that I should learn how to cook because I don't have cooking skills. Great. Want to see our cucumbers? Okay, cute. All right, now tell me the ingredients again, and I'll get them out, and you can add them. Okay. Lemon juice. Do you know what's happening? You know what? Literally, there was one time when Daddy was endlessly criticizing me because I had like 50 lemon juices open. So it seems like completely unbelievable that I don't have any lemon juice. Here's the issue. As you know, we have a cabin. So. My dad doesn't like it if we have like a ketchup here and then a ketchup at the cabin. Because then when we come home for the winter, then we have two ketchups here. So that is why we don't appear to have lemon juice at the moment. Oh my gosh, you have such a freaking attitude all the time. Why? Because I want to. No, you just give me sass for no good reason. See, it's funny. Because I went off my anxiety medication. I'm like thriving. I'm doing fantastic. So now, she gets to be the mentally unstable one of the family. And it's not me. In case you didn't know, you can substitute things for lemon juice, which I didn't know was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. 
So, for vinegar, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. For lemon extract, a drop or two. But since we only need like two tablespoons, and since we're only doing one tablespoon, I would recommend one drop. I would absolutely agree with that. Okay. I hate the way vinegar smells. I'm so scared it's like all gonna like just shoot out at me. Probably will. Well, the goal is to not do that. Okay. Pour that on. We got our vinegar. And then... One drop. <laughs> um, the next thing we need is olive oil. You know, they should put, like, the little thing on there that, like, soy sauce has. So you can, like, drop a single drop. I think I have a dropper that I saved. Because I was like, yeah, like, this might be useful to have one day. Oh my gosh, so funny story. So we have a bottle that looks like this, except it has, oh, nice, except it has red food dye in it because we make hummingbird food. <laughs> it's like sugar water with red dye because they're like attracted to the red dye. This doesn't, <laughs> look, it doesn't reach. Okay, but can you the I will try. Can you do it, Kylie. I think you can do it. Haha. -ha. Be like a scientist. That was a tiny drop, so I'm gonna do a second one because that was like a really tiny drop. It was. Look how small this is. That was really okay. tiny. I have good instincts. Yes, yes, you do. You gotta remember that. I remember. Oh, if this was bigger, then you could screw it on. Anyways, so. We have a bottle just like that, but it has red food coloring in it for hummingbird. hummingbird food because we would buy like the four pack of like red, yellow, green, blue, but we would use up the red. <laughs> so we have this giant bottle now instead of the little squeezer thing. And I was making hummingbird food with my dad one day. and He was like, oh, let me do the red because it comes out fast. <laughs> I was like, okay. So he goes and he goes to pour. He pours in like so much because it came out fast. I was like, dude, you literally just warned yourself <laughs> and then didn't take your own warning. So last night he was helping me like reorganize the spices and stuff. And I was like, hey, I think I have like a bottle with a dropper. Would you like that for the red food coloring? Because I have a lot of like skincare products and like serums and like all that stuff that have like the little squeezy dropper thing he was like yes yes i would i was like great so that will never be a thing again in the future because now he will have a little dropper for it isn't that cute yes and i had a little dropper for the lemon yeah where'd you get those you know i was like going through stuff that i was like probably 90 percent of us can go for garage sale and I found the little droppers, and I was like, you know, I feel like I could use these sometime for something. So I kept, I washed them and I kept them. Okay, olive oil. Appreciate this snazzy olive oil bottle and our snazzy little tip of it. Isn't this like a wine bottle? Yes, I bought the top, the stopper part, separately. And we had this other olive oil bottle that had gotten old and we decided to replace it. So I went to a wine store with your father and I basically just looked for a wine that was in a pretty bottle. And that's what I found and that's what I picked. And I do think it's very pretty. And I'm very happy with it. Half a teaspoon. This is hard to remember that I keep having to like put it in half. And then I need black pepper. I feel like I shouldn't, I almost said quarter. I feel like I shouldn't half the pepper though. Cause it calls for a quarter teaspoon of pepper. But we like pepper. I wouldn't even measure the pepper. I would just shake it. pepper all over it till it seems like good, if that makes sense. We love pepper. That's it until we need to put in the cilantro. 
I will just mixy mixy mix. I don't know, cucumbers. Are you supposed to like cover it with something? Uh, I would imagine so. It doesn't say. Sumaya, your recipe doesn't tell me to cover this. No, I think you could figure it out. Even you figured it out. Yeah, and but it seems like it I don't be covered. cook. I don't have knowledge of things. Oh, you have a cat hair in here. You should tell them about our what we're doing for dinner tonight. Oh my gosh. Coming soon in this vlog near you. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to cook our own dinner over a campfire. A fake campfire. How fun is that? So we have like a little metal thing. It's a little fire pit. And then you put fire in it. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my gosh. We should like roast hot dogs and marshmallows and like cook our own dinner. That would be like so fun. So <laughs> you will see that later on in this vlog. And see our cute little dinner and our fire and it's going to be cute. I'll show you our cucumbers. Ta-da! Cute. Nice. How does it smell? It smells like just vinegar. That's like the only thing I can smell. So, every night at dinner, I always like to rate my dinner, and, like, here, I am a very picky person, and there's this thing called a dominant super taster that's, like, having the best sense of taste ever, and there's, like, tests you can do to see if you are one, and I am one, so I'm very, like, picky and critical of things just because I have a very good sense of taste. I'm a very picky person, so I like to rate my things and then give critiques and be like, oh, you know, this was like too salty. That's usually not like what it is, but like I like to critique it and then say what I didn't like about it or what could be improved. So I will rate my friend Sumaya's cucumber salad recipe later. What you got? You, hello? Oh. Cucumber salad and more hot dogs. This is my father. He built this. That's our food so far. How snazzy. We got more food. We got marshmallows. Tell them what kind of marshmallows. I couldn't find regular marshmallows at the store. I don't know if they were like sold out from summer or whatever, but they had these <laughs> pumpkin spice marshmallows. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Getting you ready for fall. <laughs> so I'm sitting here with a blanket because I'm cold and I got a cat. The fires aren't warm. It's not warm enough. I'm cold. So I got my cat so she can be out here too and experience the fire. She's enjoying it. Okay, here's my cucumber salad rating. Angel's still here. So, I give it a B minus with cilantro because I don't like cilantro. But without cilantro, I would probably give it like an A minus. So. Why an A minus? Because it was good, but like cucumbers just aren't my favorite vegetable. So it can't be that high because cucumbers aren't like one of my favorites. Okay, you taste it and you tell me what you think. It's good, I agree the cilantro overpowers it a little. You, what do you think? It's very good. It's very good. The cilantro definitely adds to it. I would not do this without cilantro. Yeah, because you like it, but I don't. But I kind of agree that maybe there's a little too much cilantro. Or actually, you know what I probably would have done is I probably would have cut the cilantro smaller and mixed it in. What's your rating? I need another spoonful, forkful. Okay, what's your rating? I'll give it an A. See, now that one. Needed more cilantro, so this might be the right cilantro mix. It's just not 
And see, I think I would have cut the cilantro smaller so it was a little bit more evenly distributed. And I bet doing that would make this an A+. Plus. Right now, I'd give it an A-. minus. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's cheating! You can't cheat! I wanted you to jump! You are such a cheater. I'm not cheating. I'm using all available resources. I wanted you to jump! <laughs> Meow, nothing. That's what makes a good leader. When you outwit what the other person wants you to do and get them. The go no! Okay, no, okay, people. My dad's goal in life is to just get everyone. Not everyone, just you. No, and mom. Yeah, yeah you and mom. That should not be your goal. Your goal should be to be a nice family member. People, look, that's my bird feeder and my bird basket up there. Yeah, you have empty toilet paper tubes down on the ground over I there. Do you need to not. pick them. Yes, Are you, you kidding do. me? I see nothing. Well, go over there. I can't. I'm with cat. Here, I'll take the cat. I'm with child. Hello. This is my third and last weekend home alone. So we're going to see if I have any major crisis happen this time. Hopefully not. So. Something that is up and coming we're doing it monday today is friday but if you've been with me for like i don't know a year or two i do this thing every october called ding dong boo and it's like ding dong ditching someone but you like get halloween stuff and then you go leave it at the door then you ring the doorbell and then you go run away so they don't know who it was so that's ding dong boo so i'm gonna sit down because my arm's tired we have these new neighbors they're not like new new but they're like new they moved in last year and they actually if you've also been with me long enough to see this video i did a video about this guy who tried to peer pressure me into sending him naked pictures they moved into those people's house so much better people i appreciate them a lot more than the older neighbors but so this is what we got them for ding dong boo we know they have like two little girls, I'm pretty sure, because they came to our garage sale in the spring. So that's why I was like, we should ding dong boo them because they're new neighbors, so they're like new to our neighborhood, whatever. Be nice and neighborly, include them in ding dong boo. Plus they have like little kids, so like that's like more fun than like, I don't know, like a lot of the kids that live here aren't kids anymore because like we all grew up. <laughs> I was like the first, like one of the original people to live in this development. And we have a lot of still the original people that like live here. So like me and all the neighborhood kids kind of like grew up together. We weren't like really like close or like friends or anything, but like we like all grew up together and like basically everybody's like grown up except for like a couple people and the ones who aren't grown up are like people who have moved in since then. So, we got <laughs> serving utensils. They're like skeleton hands. And I was on TikTok, and there's this lady who collects chicken eggs, and I swear she uses like these things. She uses skeleton hands. And it's like the funniest thing ever. So we got <laughs> skeleton hand serving utensils. We got two packs of Bean Boozled. We got two butterfly glow pendants we got glow bracelets and we got chocolate sandwich cookies Halloween so these are like rip off Oreos but you know still like same vibe and apparently they're orange on the inside so that's cool and we're going to be giving it to them in this bowl how cute so Monday we're gonna ding dong ditch them and I'm like nervous because first of all, I'm an anxious person, so obviously. But <laughs> here's the thing. I think it was last year when 
me and my dad did the ding dong boo, but all three of us are gonna ding dong boo these neighbors. When me and my dad did this, the house that we picked had a driveway that was like uphill and curved. So like pretty easy to like run away and not be seen. Cause like just go around the curve and go down the hill and like you're gone. But the people that were gonna be ding dong booing, literally just a flat, straight driveway. So I feel like they're gonna see us and be like, what the heck? I don't know. So like the whole idea of ding dong boo is to ding dong someone, give them Halloween stuff, and then you get a paper that you put on your door that says, we've been booed. <laughs> so that if somebody tries to boo you, then they'll be like, oh, they were already booed and go boo someone else in the neighborhood. So after you get booed, then you have to go boo someone else. So that's how Ding Dong Boo works. <laughs> so I'm excited, but I'm also scared. But that's coming up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my random vlog of randomness. I feel like it was just a lot of random stuff. I don't know. I still have a headache in the sweat of my face. I think me and my mom have determined that I have sinusitis, which is like inflamed sinuses. And my mom was actually telling me she can tell like this is like puffy. Like I can't tell. I'm like looking at myself and I can't tell. But she said she can always like tell that like wherever my headache is, it's like puffy. So I don't know. I don't know what to think. And she was, she looked up like how long it takes for sinusitis to like clear up. And she said that the internet said three weeks or more. I'm going on three weeks with a sinus headache. It freaking sucks. So anyways, if you, I'm getting into all of these like homeopathic things to try to like fix it because medicine's not helping me at this point, like literally. So if you have any homeopathic suggestions for me to try comment them down below because i'm tired of my head hurting really bad i've been trying those vix vapo shower i think is what it's called they're like these little circular tablets and you put them in the shower and it like releases like i don't know it's like menthol or eucalyptus or something those are great and i've been doing the neti pot but I'm scared of nose sprays because I've had a very long history of any nose spray making my nose bleed because it dries out my nose. So I'm probably not really inclined to try nose sprays just because they always give me bloody noses. But like anything else, if you have any idea of what could help me, let me know. So leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below any suggestions for my stupid headache. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on my post notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!